Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and here is Google Apps Updates Roundup number 76 and in this episode I'm going to share with you 34 new features in Google Apps so without further ado let's jump in. Before showing you the new features if you like any of the wallpapers I use you will always find the link in the description below and now let's start with YouTube. The first change is the new AI generated summary that you will see in some YouTube videos. So let me show you one of the examples I came across. Here's one of the videos from Jerry Rig Everything and when you expand the description you will see a new summary card. When you tap on it, it will show you here a brief description about the video different from the one added by the content creator. It says on the left AI generated video summary. Summaries are experimental, quality may vary. You have also the ability to send feedback if you think this summary needs to be enhanced and it will take you through some steps to achieve this. But keep in mind that this feature is not yet implemented on each and every video on YouTube, but you can find it in some videos while others don't have it. The second change is also in the description and sometimes when you scroll all the way down, you will see some related videos. Change number three, if you are playing a video already and then scroll through the suggested ones at the bottom, you might see a new expandable card to show you what products are mentioned in this video as shown in this example from MKBHD. But keep in mind when you tap on any of these products, it takes you to the video, it doesn't do anything different. One final change in the description, sometimes you will see a new category here called shorts remixing this video and you can immediately jump to the short by tapping on it. In the voice search, now you have the ability to change the voice search language directly from the page by tapping on this globe button at the top right corner. Last but not least, it seems like Google is offering a two months free trial of YouTube premium subscription for some users instead of only one month like before, and I got this notification on one of my accounts. Before moving on to the next app, I would like to thank Kirtan Nakrani for sharing with me most of these new YouTube features to include in my video, which I really appreciate. And now let's talk about YouTube music. The first change in YouTube music is the new play all button that you will find next to some categories, like for example, the trending songs and also the recommended music videos. Tapping on it will just add all the songs to the queue in one go. The second change, you might see a new splash screen when you open YouTube music to let you know about the new comments section I talked about in my previous video when I showed you the redesigned now playing screen. By tapping on this button, you can access the comments section. The other changes are on Wear OS. And now you have the ability to see the songs included in playlists and albums and to play any of them individually. And as an example, here's my likes playlist. And as you see, I can scroll through the songs and tap on any of them. And also you will notice here a new blurry background that shows the album art. And also the play button has been replaced with a shuffle button. Now let's talk about Google Photos. And the first change is in the pinch to zoom gesture. Now when you zoom all the way in, you will get a haptic feedback to let you know that you reached the maximum zoom. And the same happens when you zoom all the way out. In the albums, I noticed three new changes. The first one is the bolder font for the album title. And when you start scrolling, you will see here that the add photos and share buttons now stick to the top. So you don't need to scroll all the way up to get them back. And also there's an automatically created memory for some albums that you can tap on and see all the photos included. And lastly, if you don't have the backup option enabled, you might see an automatically created memory from Google to let you know the benefits of backing up your photos. Next, Gmail. And now you have the ability to translate your email messages if they are written in a different language. And in this example, I sent myself an email written in French. And all I need to do here is to tap on translate to English. And as you see, now everything is in English. And you have also a gear button over here that will allow you to uh, adjust the translation settings for the future email messages. For example, you can choose the from and to languages. Plus you have the ability to choose ask to translate French, automatically translate French or don't translate French again. With the ability to revert back to the original message by tapping on the show original button over here. Next, Google search. And there are multiple tweaks here and there. In this example, I searched for Android 14 and now there is a new section called top stories, which will show you first the latest articles and some related articles as well at the bottom. And when you scroll all the way to the right and then tap on view full coverage, it will take you to the news tab 
and here you can see even more another visual tweak i noticed when you go to the people also ask section you will notice here that the expand arrow has a fill color and a new animation next google home and now we have 18 new starters and actions added to the routines so when you go to automations and then tap on add and then go to household and then tap on add starter then when a device does something you will see some new additions here based on what devices do you have for the full list of additions i'm gonna leave a link of an article from 9 to 5 google in the description below in case you want to check all of them but let me also show you one of the examples here when i go to my google home mini now i have the ability to start an action if the device got muted or unmuted and when i go to actions and then add an action adjust home devices then i choose one of my smart bulbs and then tap on start light effect now we have some new effects over here like the pulse effect for example and so on next gboard and now when i go to the emojis page you will notice that i have some emoji kitchen suggestions without the need to tap on anything and for reference here is the older version on my pixel 5 and when i go to the emojis it will ask me to tap on smileys first to see some stickers but now it will automatically suggest some stuff for you next google contacts and i'm gonna only show you one change if you have the address saved to your contact you might see this new card which will show you the weather and the local time of this contact right now next google play store and the first change is the redesigned install button now it's smaller and it doesn't have a fill color like before also if it appears under the card you will see here that the card size is smaller when compared to the other ones without the install button the second change when you tap on the search button you will see a new section called events happening now and it will show you some of the suggested events that might be interesting for you lastly i started to see some tags next to the app listing to give some useful information for example in this case there is an event that ends on the 14th of september and when i scroll more i have another one called reward also in case there is a major update for this app you will see a tag as well like in this case uh, and i also found a rating here for the page you are currently scrolling so for example it says here how satisfied are you with this page so you can give your rating over here google also moved one of the core apps of android to google play store for faster updates and this app is called google partner setup it doesn't mention exactly what features it relates to but when you take a look at the about section it says google partner setup is a required application for android devices google recently moved this app to the play store so that bug fixes improvements and the critical updates for your device can be delivered faster so the more we get this kind of apps to google play store the faster the updates will be delivered next the google app and the first change is under the notification settings now you will see a redesigned page with new toggles and here's a screenshot from the old design the second change when you scroll through the discover feed in the app itself and then scroll back up you will see the search bar is now showing at the top for easier access and lastly when you tap on any of the articles from your notifications shade you will see this new section called from your notification and then the article you tapped on next google chrome on windows got some noticeable changes the first one is the redesigned more menu in this side by side comparison you will see that it now has a smaller font with less margins on the sides which makes the whole menu smaller the second change is under history now the journeys feature is called by group and here you can see the visited links grouped by website and each group has its own card lastly when you play a video and then pause it and then right click anywhere in the viewfinder you will get a new option called copy video frame which will copy a perfectly cropped screenshot of this frame to your clipboard so you can paste it anywhere next google docs on the web got a couple of new useful features the first one is the proofread to correct your grammar and the spelling mistakes the feature is presented by an a with a check mark icon where you can find in the toolbar when you click on it a floating card will appear to take you through the required changes one by one and you have the option to accept the change or ignore it the second feature is help me write which is the same one we saw in gmail this feature can help you write about things and all you need to do is to give a brief description about the topic you also have the ability to refine the outcome by clicking on the refine button and here you will find things like the tone either to make it formal or casual you get summarize bulletize elaborate and more 
in addition to the ability to put your custom description to make it yours. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes I wanted to show you in Google Apps. Please let me know in the comments if you spotted any new feature so I can include in my future episodes or reach me out on social media. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.